Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to see a new topic that is the introduction to graphs. We will see the part 1 of it and today we will see only the, it will be a small video. We will see what is a graph and the types of graphs. So here, what do we mean by graph? Actually, graph is a set of vertices connected by lines. You know the vertices, suppose this is, one, this is one point and this is one point and then it is connected by a, this one line. So graph is useful, what is the, this one? So we can say graph, graph is useful in collecting, recording and interpreting data conveniently and clearly. So there are different types of graphs. So that is the bar graph, histogram, uh, then the pie chart, or it is also called as the circle graph, line graph, and that is also called as the linear graph. So here we can see how it looks like. Now suppose the, we say for the bar graph. This is the bar graph. It should look like this. So what happens here? It shows here the monthly expenditure of a family. So you can see here this is food, this is for education, the medical, the clothing, the travel and the miscellaneous. So this is the monthly expenditure of it. It is showing the monthly expenditure of a family. So the bar graph should look like this. So now if it is a double bar graph, so double bar graph, can you see this? But it should be together. There should not be any space in between. So it should be like this and like this, there should not be any space in between. So this is called the double bar graph. So here the bar, double bar graph showing it, it showing the marks obtained by students. So there are different subjects, English, Hindi, Maths. So these are the marks. These are the marks. That is called a double bar graph. Then the histogram. So here the histogram graph should look like this. So histogram showing marks obtained by students. So the graph should look like this for the histogram. Then the pie chart or the circle graph. So you know this one. Now this is, now whenever there is a circle, this total is 360. Out of this, this is 180. Now this is 120 and this is 60. So when you add all this one, so it should be 360, 180 plus 60, that is going to be 240, 240 and this one 120. So that is going to be 360 degree. So this is called the pie chart or the circle graph. And the next one, this is called the line graph and also the linear graph. So the graph should look like this. So this actually, this is a short video. In the next video, I'll start with the exercise of this chapter. So by this one, I'm completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts. Thank you.